Hello Techies, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we are discussing about practical question for interview automation anywhere. And this is exercise 9. I hope you have watched all other old series also. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. Directly we will go to the question, very interesting question. This question is all about pattern and the most commonly asked question in RPA interview because the pattern question is a one it will show the interest towards a tool or interest towards the technology to interviewer and because it requires a basic to advanced level of thinking right so we will solve this half pyramid pattern question very tricky question don't skip the video please watch the video till the end you will get some good steps about the logics behind this half pyramid directly we will go to logic so how we can build a logic to get the output of half pyramid the first thing is every time whenever we will solve the pattern based question we need a loops and most commonly we need a two loops because this is a half pyramid will have the rows and column right so first thing is we have a two loops that loop we will call it as outer loop and another loop we will call it as inner loop right so loop inner loop the first loop we will call it as outer loop second loop we will call it as inner loop outer loop is nothing but how many numbers of row you have in the pattern example 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 totally 6 rows are present in this question right the same thing how many numbers of row you have that is the outer loop and what is the inner loop so inner loop is the one how many numbers of columns you have in the pattern so example here you have six columns but for first row you have first only one column right example i will show you again so i will take uh, another color red not a red maybe i can take a blue so here if you consider the first row is having one column second row is having two columns right one and two and third row is having three columns so on sixth row is having six columns right six columns so what is the logic behind this one yes absolutely right what you're thinking is correct so now whatever the row you have the first row second row third row counter right that counter is equals to the column so means so row equals to column means equals to column and what is the inner loop inner loop is equals to column right maybe you have confused but we will, when we will try to resolve in a automation anywhere definitely you will get this logic so I will directly go to automation anywhere workbench as I told in a earlier so we have to use a two loops one is a inner loop another one is a outer loop so what is the outer loop so just I will take a loop outer loop and if you see here what is outer loop number of rows present in the pattern how many numbers of rows we have six right the same thing I will mention it here six and I will create one counter to hold the value of counter so the first thing i will take a counter one right because this is a outer loop right this is the outer loop and another loop we require that is inner loop right we will call it as inner loop so just i will take loop again so this is outer loop and this is inner loop right the second one is a inner loop so inner loop is what the column the column is what so how many numbers of rows you have that is the column example the first counter one you have one number of column you have 
right if the fourth row you have a fourth number of columns four number of columns right the same way how we can build this one example here we have a counter one every iteration the counter will increase one two three four from the one it will increase right this that's why we need to take in the second loop here times is counter times counter one times and i will create again one more counter already created counter two right so it should create a, another counter so now in the first loop it will take a number of rows sixth time it will loop correct in the second loop every time whatever the counter value of the row example if you are there in the fourth second if you were just i'm clearing to make life easier yeah so now so if you are there in fifth row okay how many numbers numbers of column so five columns right five what is the row number five so means we need a row number for the columns right row number is nothing but the counter every time it will increment so that counter times i am running the inner loop and i am creating a counter and what is the pattern here pattern is a star right sometimes it will be uh, like one two three or hash it's depending on the question but in this question they have mentioned as a star so that's why what i will do i will take a assign activity because i need to show the star right string is a star star is a string that's why so I will add a star and one more thing every star between two star if you see one space is there right so that's why I will add one space also after this star and I will create a output output okay create one variable as a output but the thing is every time we need to add a star right so we have to add a star one by one star how we can add it so we have to use the reverse mechanism so for the output suggest so i am adding output again in the assign activity okay see so output is a variable after that i am adding a star after that one space is i am adding right the same thing i am adding into the output the same output right I hope you are clear now if you are not clear please watch again so definitely you will get understand so after that what we have to do very simple thing once the first row is displayed we have to give a new line right new line so what is the way of giving the new line in the automation anyway already i have told in a old videos how we can get the new line so very simple so we should use a assign outside the loop so just i am bringing outside the inner loop so outer loop inside the outer loop outside the inner loop just remember this one inside the outer loop this is inside the outer loop and outside the inner loop so this one i will make it as here so after this output just i am adding a new line right new line so i am here i am not adding any of the star remember that one i am not adding any of the star i am adding a new line after the inner loop so now very simple now i need to add a message box outer loop inside the outer loop message box here output right so if i run the bot now so i will get the answer very simple trick if you are confused just watch again this video definitely you will get the logic 
very interesting question and most asked question in RPA. So we will see the value now. See the pattern is generated. So the first row is having one, second row, third row, fourth row, fifth row, sixth row. So our question also same thing, right? Our question, if you see it here, the same thing we have displayed here, right? So very simple. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel for automation related videos and interview related videos. Thank you very much. Happy learning. Please share the channel. Thank you.